Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fallout 2 Part 10, Viewer Discretion is Advised. I'm going to hope... I'm going to hope that I fix the problem with the video because for whatever reason there's uh, some stuff going on the right side of the screen despite it not being in testing uh, session, so I honestly have no idea why that's happening. Either way, we gotta queer out the tanker. I'm really not sure how exactly I want to proceed. Anyone who's seen my episode on Redding knows exactly how terrible one mingles are going to be. I mean, we got stunwalked by two to three of them constantly, so I don't know how dealing with more of them is going to work. My thinking is that we're going to use flares. Hopefully, disable their legs, and maybe they'll be like the death cause in the uh, military base and run away from us. That said, we do have the benefit of actually being able to. Uh, that being said, we do have the benefit of actually being able to go up and down ladders, so that might be helpful, but... Oh, wonderful. I can't even... Well, let's see if we can even... Uh, disable a folder. I am thankful we folders are actually affected by... Uh, We need, we need to make sure we do get a uh, cripple at the very least. If we can't get a cripple, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Well, it wants to turn it, but we've... The problem is, if we get surrounded, we're effectively never going to be able to stand again because anyone who saw my uh, episode on Redding would know these things. Uh, pretty much anything that can attack us three times, all it takes is one thing to knock us down and we're stunwalked. So I'm honestly not entirely sure how exactly to proceed. I will say that it seems like we're uh, one, make that two action points away from actually going up the ladder over here compared to that one over there. Actually, uh, seeing that doorway, I think our best strategy is to try getting to that doorway and hopefully we'll only need to deal with two at a time. in theory. Because if they don't run away if we disable their legs, I think that's going to be our best and only option. That said, if we could stay here and get them over to this general area to clear a spot over here so we can actually get to the doorway to even try that, that'd be ideal. That said, I don't even know if uh, the enemies over to the left are even actually here. Either way, let's uh, try it. <clears throat> I don't think any of these enemies up here actually move though. No, they didn't. I probably shouldn't have uh, gone down here to check on this then. Oh well, let's see her. In which case we will be needing to actually 
you'll use either this one or that one. If we can clear one of them out, this might not be too bad, but we need to clear at least one side out. If we could disable the centaur, it might be helpful. Honestly, not sure uh, how to proceed. Although I will say that I'm going to need to reset anyway because there's no way I'm dealing with this without being anywhere near the ladder. Hey, yep, I'm surrounded. That, that definitely won't work. Maybe if we can actually, uh, I was going to say enter combat before anything else uh, does, as we might be able to get over to the ladder, but uh, I guess not. I guess our best strategy is to try clearing out the, this group down here then. Because, uh, you know, if, if those enemies weren't over there, we could potentially use that doorway, but I don't think that's going to be working. That said, at the very least, we only need to deal with four. Yeah, only. <laughs> oh, dear. That said, if we can actually disable one of these things so that it'll run away, or possibly lose turns, losing turns would be uh, pretty good if we could actually get them in the stun lock, but I don't think that's going to be realistically feasible. And the thing of it, uh, I don't think that one actually attacked. Then again, that might just be because it, uh, took the first turn last last turn we might only have three things attacking us yes yes we do okay well this might actually be doable then well they living anatomy is very much putting in a lot of work I get around to doing a flare only run, it's just gonna be absolutely broken just because of all the miscellaneous stuff we can do. Well, seeing as these aren't actually as bad as they fight, I think we're just gonna start knocking them back. That's it, the problem becomes that uh, these other ones might start coming towards us. Or that one can come back, that's fine. And we miss. Wonderful. Honestly, I don't think uh, floaters are really too big of a problem. I'm more concerned about the lawn mingles just because of the fact uh, living anatomy doesn't actually work on them, which is problematic. At least we can deal a flat five damage to these things. I don't think lawn mingles are affected by living anatomy, though. Not that this one should be about that uh, done. I think one mingles and uh, 
Like, when the centaurs are folders that actually run away if their health gets too old. I always thought there was at least one creature that would start running if uh, it hits a certain point. I guess it, um, I guess it's not folders that one probably going to be down soon. Okay, this one is actually nowhere near as bad as I thought it'd be. Then again, we haven't uh, reached those six wanna mingles over there yet. And there's another wanna mingle. Uh, yeah, we're going to knock that back as much as possible. Boulders we can deal with. Because they don't seem to be doing anything, but why mingles there? Uh, if we get, if it's anything like writing, we can very easily get stuck in a stun walk loop. Anyone who's seen my episode on writing knows how terrible they can be. I mean, we effectively just got immediately stun walked and whenever we fight about two of them. Which was absolutely awful. No, the folders are not overly concerned about, even though, uh, make no mistake, whether, whether we won the attack is all they need to knock us down, regardless of whether they deal damage or not. I also gotta keep in mind that if we, uh, get an arm crippled, we, uh, not, uh, no, I guess not. If we get an arm crippled, we effectively uh, have to reset too because we can't actually attack about it. I mean, yes, we can use flares, but I don't think that's going to be overly effective. Yep, here we go, it's done like. I think our best option... Oh, maybe they didn't stun lock. I thought it was a knockdown. I think our best option is actually to use the folders and, uh, use them as barricades and, uh, try to cripple their legs and hope that they uh, run away like the Death Claws did. Got about a twenty percent chance of critting, I think. I think the game glitched seeing as they keep getting up even though it's knocked down. I mean, I need all the help I can get, so I'm not going to complain too much, but either way, we do, uh, we do definitely need to, uh, disable those one mingles if we can. And then we, uh, are going to try the same strategy, only, uh, when these things get close enough, we're going to use the floaters as barriers and just throw, uh, flares at them and hope that they run away if we disable the lake. 
Yeah, that is the only uh, way I can think of offhand to actually potentially beat them. Now, make no mistake, folders can still uh, be a problem if they knock us down, but other than that, we should be okay. Hopefully. And then I will say, uh, I wish that these ones then just get stuck on things. See if we could actually make this folder slide and, uh, stay knocked down so oh, it wouldn't have enough action points to reach us so the line of mingles could position themselves so we could hit them. That would be ideal, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Okay, that might actually be far enough away for uh, that to happen. <coughs> That said, I'm not going to argue the point that uh, I really don't like your odds. I need to make that one slide back so these ones will move closer. They're only going to move closer as they can actually get into the general area. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's another good thing about the Super Swage. We can head past the uh, folders that the wine and mingles if they get close enough. Because I'm not concerned about the folders. I'm more concerned about the wine and mingles just because of their uh, inability to be affected by living anatomy. It also doesn't help that they're actually really tough and they seem to just knock you down a lot more than most other enemies. We don't know why. Okay, that one's down. I honestly don't know how well we're going to do against the centaur, so I think we should probably take that one out next. I'm hoping to at least get to the Enclave base by the end of this episode. And then uh, probably showcase why we're going to be turning off the turrets. Because I really don't think... A, uh, I really don't think we're going to be able to do it without uh, disabling the turrets. Yep, there's a knockdown. And once the game just decides to glitch and stand us back up for some reason... I'm pretty sure it did glitch. In some capacity earlier. Yep, and this is what I was talking about, stun locking. Thankfully the folders don't seem to be doing it anywhere near as much as one mingles, but... The, the fact that these three still have, uh, all, all they need for their nine hits is one hit to knock us down and we lose our turn, which is a problem. Not that I'm still more concerned about the centaur. I don't even know if you can make a centaur swipe back. I know you can knock back a folder and a line of mingle. I think you can knock back a deaf claw, but I really can't remember anything about a centaur being knocked back.
Oh boy, free action points. When we attempt to do our uh, minimum AP challenge for this, this is, that's just going to be absolutely awful. I mean, we can't even go up the ladder if we need to. We, we whether we have one action point or whether we are ultimate strategist to take a flare and chuck said flare at a body part of a target. It's going to be absolutely terrible. I'm not the... I'm not going to argue the point, we're probably going to take Jinx for, if we're going to do that, because we need all the help we can get. Desperately. Very, very desperately. I should mention that they, uh, these monsters actually have a captive up there, but I honestly ha have no idea why anyone would be down here to begin with, but that's beside the point. Okay, that one hopefully is taken down. Is either that or yep. And uh, these three will probably be moving towards us, right? They did earlier, so probably. Yep, there they go. Okay, well. I don't know if I want to knock that back. If we take that one out, uh, we're going to have to deal with multiple one mingles. The folders don't seem to be that overly bad. I'm more concerned about the one mingles. And that I'm not gonna argue the point that the uh, folders are a bit annoying thing as they knock us down sometimes, but they just seem to knock us down way less than the one mingles do. That said, we do need to knock that back, and hopefully it'll be far enough away just to walk towards us and end its turn. Less hits we take, the better. Thirty-seven damage. Now see if those ones could get right behind the folders, we'd be a, we'd be fine. On that way, I don't even think we need to clear out the enemies over to the left. We just need to get to the lower left and then the upper left. So uh, it's possible that we could avoid the enemies up there. In theory, because all we really need to do is interact with the fob and the uh, computer, and we should be fine. As stated, I will be trying to uh, clear out this entire area for the purposes of this particular episode. If I can, if I don't get stunwalked anyway. Again, uh, the folders just seem to knock us down less than these things. Okay, we actually took down another one mingle. I believe that's two Wanda Mingles, one Centaur, and one Folder. And I think that one uh, has pretty low health, so uh, right three Wanda Mingles pretty soon.
Uh, well, I'm kind of concerned about that uh, getting stun locked. But other than that, we're doing fine so far. That said, that's over here where we can at least limit the amount of uh, enemies there are. I have no idea how many are over to the left. It didn't really look like that many from the vantage point of the other uh, entrance we had, but... <clears throat> Uh-oh, I think those two... Uh, Change places. That's unfortunate. I kind of wanted to take them out one at a time. Oh well, oh boy, I can knock it down. Oh well, we haven't actually uh, been crippled yet. That's good. Uh, when I get around, I'm going to say about 60 health, I'll go up to heal. Assuming I don't get stun one. Change that plan. Biggest problem is you never know when you're just going to get stun locked. Well, I'll say that if I do go up, it may be a bit problematic because as soon as I get back down, uh, at least one of these things is immediately going to hit us. Yeah, but I need to uh, hopefully not get stun locked. <coughs> oh dear, what a mess. That's like what, third time? To be fair, we were doing pretty well for a while. Okay, let's go up and heal. making quite a bit of progress. Now uh, let's see here, which one am I saving? I guess we can save over that. Okay, there we go. that having two one mingles it's going to be a bit more of a problem that's it thankfully we did do a lot of damage to at least one of them and it also seems like this one's frozen so oh no I think that one's here too that yeah, might be a problem that's it uh, which one is worse Oh no, they seem uh, like the same. That doesn't help. Uh, looks like that might actually work out in our favor. It looks like only two enemies can attack us here. Why that folder attacks? No? Oh! 
Oh, wonderful. We got stuck in an area we can't even get out of. Soft water. Wonderful. Well, we need to make sure we don't get soft walk, so I guess we're going to be uh, trying to use these crates. We get on it, we don't see anything else that could one at them. Oh great, that's five. That's fifteen attacks. Why well, either this or get stun locked. Or get soft locked, I meant. Well we were doing fine. We're doing fine until we had to go up to heal. May have I use the Super Switch Super Stim Pack combo. so much easier if we actually had better criticals, but no, we don't have that. I want to see if we can at least trigger them to run away, because if we can do that, we might actually be able to do that particular strategy. Now that if we can't, that's going to be problematic. Okay, that one is... that one is disabled. And uh, there was one more one mingle over here somewhere, but I don't know where it was went. Oh boy, we can disable that one. I guess not. Well, that one's still chasing us. That one's running away. Okay, that will work. At the very least, we know we can disable one of Mingles. And the, that's going to help us much if we get stun locked by the rest of them, but it is helpful to know that. Thankfully, this one doesn't really have too much health left, so we should be fine. Um, hopefully that's enough to take it out. There we go. As long as we don't get knocked back into that corner where we can't attack anything, we should be fine. Attack the one mangle just because of the uh, targeting system. And it stated I should switch over to flares and try disabling these two. And I just lost my turn.
Oh, why do they didn't knock us over to the, uh, softwalk there, yeah? I don't think that happened anyway. I think that folder's actually where that is. So that's fine. All of them are unhurt. Well, the best way I can think of is hopefully disabling as many as possible. If we can cause them to run away, if we can cause at least two of them to run away, we should be fine. <laughs> Try this again. We need to disable the Dwana Mingles. I really don't see any other way out of this. You know, let's go and see about the other side. We might be able to clear out some over here and reposition some of the other ones over there. Oh, that, that's a general idea anyway. I don't know how effective that's going to be though. Either way, we definitely need to disable Okay, we disabled that one. That's good. Okay, we disabled at least one of them. That's progress. I think those folders are actually coming over here. It might actually be helpful. Anyway, man, I knocked one of them out. Let's get by the stairway just in case uh, we do need to retreat. Okay. That is actually a very solid start. Okay, three of them's on the run. That's good. That's something we definitely needed. That's it as long as we don't get cornered and soft locked again. Because there's literally nothing we can do if it uh, just turns everything into yellow. It doesn't seem like that's the case, so, so we should be fine. Again, I don't think I've ever seen a sliding animation for a fold or for a centaur, I mean, so I don't know if we can make it go back.
Yeah, Thundar shouldn't outlast more than one more good critical hit, I don't think. I think it's almost down. Okay, there we go. There's at least two of them over there. And what? Nah, that is not the ones that are here. Okay, then. Well, we got at least five one mingos to take out. Not to mention one person to save over to the right. Assuming they're still alive, I don't think that they've actually spent any turns doing anything other than coming towards me anyway, so I think it, it the captive is. <clears throat> if not, that's uh, about 3,000 experience down the drain. I think it was 3,000. Either way, this is actually working out much better than I thought it would. That said, that's still quite the problem. Okay, one more good hit should be enough to take that one out. Uh oh, I think those other blonde mingles are coming towards us. Yes, they are. Okay, that's something we haven't dealt with, we can handle it. Well, they were probably going to have to go up and, uh... Game go for super stem packs, but, uh, actually only looks like there's one. I know, no, I'll make that there are two. Okay, then. Yeah, we will be needing super stem packs for two, then. Slide that one back enough so it's not a factor. You need to get not get knocked back, knocked down constantly. If we can do that, we're fine. Also, if we keep getting heads like that where they're uh, sliding about 10 spaces away, that's ideal. I should have moved towards the staircase. I'm more concerned about getting stun locked. Ah, but this one looks like it's almost down anyway, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem if we don't get stun locked. Looks like that one's almost down, too. Okay, this should be fine. <clears throat> I will say this is going much better than I thought it would. I say as we get knocked down.
Okay, all we need is one more good crick. Oh, and we should be able to beat that one main bolt. Again, I'm much more concerned about one and mingles than the rest of them. I really don't know why, they just seem to knock you down way more. Yeah, I think that's dead. There we go. Okay, hopefully one more hit. Okay, there we go. And we have 89. Alright, let's just save and heal. Using standard stem packs. Okay, I think we've actually cleared out enough of this area so that most of it wouldn't be too bad to clear out, but... Oh dear, I did not like that. Great idea, so, uh, yep, that's kind of a problem. Um, hopefully going up will, uh, fix that. I'm going to hope the game didn't glitch. Um, I better uh, reset and hopefully... Uh, okay, it doesn't seem like it's happening. Either way, those free are disabled. That that one is the only one I think I haven't actually stunned yet. We should be. Oh dear, I didn't even heal before that. Oh well, we should be fine as long as we get slighted too much for it to really hit us. We should be fine. Two of them. Okay, I should have healed them. That's why I would say if I hadn't. That's why they thought I had. I guess they didn't actually save after that. Then again, the game kind of glitched. Alright, we're going to have to reset and heal before we engage these ones. Because this is the problem with one mingles. They just have a really bad tendency of knocking you down. I really don't know why they seem to be the worst of them, but they just seem to be the worst of the uh, physical combat ones that just constantly knock you down. Hopefully the game doesn't glitch. Okay, let's heal, save, and then clear that out. I mean, I really don't know what else I can say. We were doing fine until that glitch happened. Okay, let's try this again. Avoid nothing glitches. Although I need to pick up all the floors I can. 
I reckon they'll do that while waiting for them to come by. Actually, I think uh, we just made the ones running away aggressive. Either way, I think that's it. Of course the game would crash. Why wouldn't it crash? See if we can clear it out if it's going to do that. But we're doing just fine until uh, the thing decides to glitch. Honestly, I think our uh, best bet would actually be to. Uh, yeah, if it's going to crash like that, I think we better just. Uh, I tail it to ooh, the end. Let's see here. We need the tanker fob. Tanker fob. Outside of those two wanna mingles, I think we should be relatively okay. That's that if we, uh. Of course, there's one there. Honestly, I can't, for, I, I can't figure that those were the ones that, that were coming over, but I guess that uh, uh, just didn't happen like that. I'm just gonna hope that the game does not crash. Oh, well, it's here. I'll deal with the one mingle first just because they're worse. Okay, we, we should be able to deal with these three. I guess we're just not taking out the ones that are running away, apparently, that crashes the game. That's fine, if that's the only uh, problem, we should be fine. And once we get stun locked. Okay, just knock it back. We can make that slide a bit more, we should be fine. Uh oh, I think there's another one moving somewhere. can tell when there's just a uh, wall in the in the combat system that something else came in and either that or the game froze oh well I'd rather that than the game freezing Hopefully that's it for this one. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to take on two of them like this. We've seen what two of them can do. I don't feel like getting constantly stun locked.
Okay. I guess that isn't enough. That's unfortunate. On the way thing is that one attack of theirs that is knocking us down more than most things. we can limit that thing to attacking twice if we knock it back. Okay, hopefully it keeps down. Or it gets back up and we hit it again, that's fine. Okay, that one's down. Everything is absolutely fine as long as the game does not crash. I have to keep mentioning that because it can happen and it has happened. Although surprisingly, seeing as this is the first time I've actually recorded this particular segment, I'm surprised it hasn't crashed worse. Boy, one more hit will do it. Okay, we're going to save there. How much more? We need about 1,000. Actually, that works out pretty fine because we can actually talk to this lady and. Uh, We can actually get a few thousand experience for taking her to the water. And going up and uh, speaking to Bath here. Okay, 5,000 experience. I really don't know what I would put it <coughs> put it in though. I will say that uh, the HP increase is a good thing, but I, I really don't know how uh, how good life giver would have been because technically speaking, yes, we'd be able to survive more. But the downside is it would take longer for us to get taken out if we got stun walked. So I don't know if that would necessarily be a good thing. Anyway, if the game's going to be crashing on me, I think I better just get this segment out of the way. Anyway, outside of the uh, few one mingles that uh, we didn't actually take out, I think we pretty much cleared the tanker. Anyway, 2,000. Um, and we need to get gas. And fuel, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, we need to make sure we uh, don't anger the local wildlife, I guess you would say. Hey, boy, that one didn't actually seem to see us, so we're fine. And uh, let's see here, I come to think of it, I do believe we need to speak to uh, the captain before we can actually uh, get the fuel, so we may as well do that.
Okay, I think we just triggered it so we can actually uh, go to... I'm I never noticed that, that thing actually... Uh, actually has a uh, ammunition source, apparently. That's what that green thing is. Either way, I really don't know what... I, I always thought that disappeared if you uh, used that. Man, I didn't actually use it. That's gonna be an annoyance. I probably got the experience for it, though. Oh, well, either way, we're going to find out pretty soon. Either way, if I got run back down there, so be it. Anyway, let's see here, I uh, defeated all of the bologists, so we should be able to uh, talk to the Emperor and get the fuel. There we want chemistry, I think. Go and do it. There we go. Again, I could go back and uh, try getting the boxing improvements, but I really don't think that'd be overly helpful. I mean, this isn't the van I don't think this is a vanilla version. If we could use a boxing ring exploit, that that's absolutely broken. For those of you who don't know, there in the vanilla version of Fallout 2, there is a boxing ring exploit where uh, due to an error, there is a, you can actually talk to the uh, manager of the boxing match and actually do a boxing match indefinitely, which will actually increase your uh, all, pretty much everything for Pretty much uh, this number and most of these ones outside of, I think, Explode, Fire, and uh, Pulse, I think, is the only ones that aren't affected. But either way, we'll save the game here and there. And uh, hopefully, I guess I didn't fix it. Okay, fine. I probably did, but apparently not. That's fine. That's going to take up uh, overly long, assuming that uh, we can actually get there. There we go. I bet I got experience for doing that, but I guess not. Oh, no. It's avoided and we should be fine. Again, I don't want to crash a game again. Although I will say that uh, probably some amount 1800 experience would be nice. Um, what's here? Okay, there we go. Uh, 
I will win this episode off by showcasing why we're going to be deactivating the turrets in the next episode. Oh, why? Well, it's just one of them. We can probably deal with that. I'm just more concerned about the game crashing. Okay, two of them. Okay, that one's running away. We're fine. We're fine. I guess those are the ones that I disabled. Alright, let's try this again. I guess I'll let the cutscene play. Okay, there we go, and another level, and uh, unfortunately we don't a get to get another perk. But we do add some more experience, as well as health. On the way, I probably should have peeled earlier, but oh well. Anyway... Before I end this particular episode, I am going to showcase why fighting uh, these turrets is just going to be a terrible idea and why we're going to be deactivating them. I mean, let's just uh, take our foyer and just showcase what we got to work with, okay? I mean, let's assume that... Uh, First of all, this is likely where we're going to be fighting at, just so we can disable it. I think uh, at least three of them actually have two-handed weapons. E even if, w because if we were to go to uh, around the center of the room and uh, fight these, first off, most of these things just outrange us as a default. We we could probably get. We, we could 
be able to potentially disarm some of them, but most of them would just outrange us as a default. Coming from this way, we would definitely get outranged because literally all of them that can see us are just going to shoot immediately. Matter of fact, let's just uh, showcase why uh, fighting. Hey, let, let's say that we're over here in uh, probably the best area we can possibly be because I'm pretty sure that door is locked for the final encounter. The main problem is this entire area is pretty much open, so even if we were to hit a few of them and try running back, all the rest of them would hit us. And see, this is exactly why we didn't uh, even attempt to go oh, to the Sierra Army Depot. Those, those turrets would have just torn us apart. And that, that's not including the other four people that would be here as well as Frank Horgan. That's just, that's just uh, me, five of these turrets as well. These two aren't even involved, I don't think. The point being that uh, the likelihood we're going to get stunlocked because these things they think can attack at least once a turn. Not to mention the Enclave soldiers that could attack twice a turn. It's just, it's just not going to work over way well. That's it. I believe I'll end this episode here. I hope everybody enjoyed this episode. So... It went much better than five, but then again, uh, we still got stunlocked a lot. I hope everybody enjoyed this episode, so everybody have a good day.